guys, it's Dan. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school advice video using questions that you guys gave me on a video that I posted asking for questions and I got a lot of questions so I'm going to be answering every single one until there is no more. So let's get started with the questions. The first question is from Simply Sweet Alexis and she says, do you have any original studying tips? I don't really have that many original tips but a couple of studying tips I have is never procrastinate. I'm procrastinating all day I sit here waiting for just a perfect moment to begin. Let's pretend that your homework is like a big ball of gum. No, snowball. Snowball. No. Snowball. No. longer you procrastinate and like, don't turn in stuff for example your homework will just build keep building because for me teachers if you don't turn in so if you don't turn in something they don't like deduct points they just don't give you points until you turn it in so if you don't turn it in then I guess you, you just give me that. Okay, she also asked me, what do you recommend for an everyday school snack in between classes? In between classes, I only have three minutes, so I would say it's or something, maybe like gummy bears, like gummy snacks, just anything like that you want that are just like, that's like a really small snack, just not, not like a sandwich or like a salad because also maybe pack some like little snacks in your lunchbox and then go to your locker in between classes and eat them. Also, if a couple of your teachers allow you to eat in class, just eat in, in class. What are your favorite shoes to wear to school? My white Vans or my black high top Converse. When do you go back to school? I go back to school September 3rd, which is which is in less than a week. So I'm actually really excited I like school so much. And I just recently went back to my school to get my locker and stuff. And I got a top locker. Okay, I don't really know how to answer this question really. But they said, what do I do if my bad reputation spreads to the new students? I don't see how it would because if like you're friends with them, if you're friends with new incoming students, like if you're in middle school, if like new students come in and you go up, don't be friends with them. So then they won't like get your bad reputation. But honestly, I don't think that would happen. So. And this next question says, what do you do if your best friend moved over the summer? Let's say that's your only friend that you have, then make new friends because I don't think, and just keep in touch with your best friend, make new friends because they will too because you're just not going to sit in a new state and stuff or city and just like be like, and just like make new friends and keep in touch with your best friend. Kala asked me, what do you do if your best friend turns on Then obviously they weren't your best friend. If they turn on you, because if they were your best friend, they wouldn't do that. So stop being friends with them, make other friends, and just like, ignore them. And the, I saved the best question for last. What do you do if you start your period at school? Well, um, just bring your feminine products. And then if you think it happened, go to the bathroom and, you know, do your business. But that's all for my back to school advice video. If you guys like to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you want me to do a, a couple more back to school videos before I go back to school, comment down below. Follow me on Twitter at N7Beauty. I don't have an Instagram. And yeah. Bye! <laughs>